we are going to work out the Laplace transform of the function t squared, and we'll be using the definition for this. So let's go right ahead and say this is equal to the improper integral from 0 to infinity, and we will have e to the negative dst times t squared, right? And then we have dt right here. And now let me put this down as the limit as capital N goes to infinity, and then we will have this as the integral from 0 to capital N, and then if you would like, you can put down t squared first, and then that, e to the negative as t, and then dt right here. This is okay. And we have to ask ourselves, how can we integrate t squared times e to the negative st? Well, we have to use integration by parts. And of course, I'll show you guys with the di method. So let me put on right here for you guys. We will have the di and then the i. And I will be differentiating t squared, and I'll be integrating that, right? So let's put on t squared and then e to the negative st. And of course, let's put on plus, minus, plus, minus. And let's do t squared first right here, because we can feel better this way. So we get 2t and then 2 and then 0. And to integrate e to the negative st, as long as we are careful, we can still feel good, all right? So we can have e to the negative st, and we'll have to divide it by negative s. So it's the same as 1 over negative s. And then do it again, e to the negative st, divided by negative s again. So we get positive 1 over s squared. Do it again, we get e to the negative st, and then divided by negative s again, we get negative 1 over s to the third power, just like this. And we stop right here because we have 0 in the d column. All right, diagonals, diagonals, diagonals. The product of the diagonals are the answers, and we have zero, so this is the easy case, right? All right, now, this is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity, and I'll open a big parenthesis, and I'll put down the result of the integration right here. First, we will have positive t squared times 1 over negative s and that, right? So let me write it down as negative t squared over s squared, no, s, just s, s. And then we will have e to the negative st. This is the first term. And then the next term is going to be negative 2t times that. So it will be, again, negative 2t. And then we have over s squared. And then we will have e to the negative st, like that. And then let's do this right here. Positive 2 times negative 1 over s to the third power. So we have negative 2 over s to the third power that e to the negative st. There is no 5 at all. All these are s, all right? And this is it, right? And we will have to go from 0 to n, just like this. And now I will technically have to put another parenthesis like this, right? All right, the limit as capital N goes to infinity. Let's plug in all the n, the n into all the t's, and then we will have this right here as negative n square over s, and then times e to the negative s times n, and then minus 2t will become n, and then over s square, and then this is e to the negative s times t, which is n, and then minus 2 over s to the third power, e to the negative s times t, which is n. This is the first term, right? And then we subtract, plugging 0 into all the t's. So we will have negative 0 squared over s times e to the negative s times 0. And then we will have minus 2 times t, which is 0, over s squared e to the negative s times 0. And minus 2 over s to the third power e to the negative s times t, which is 0, like this. And that's the second term. And I was should technically put down a big parenthesis like that. Okay, this is a troublesome. This is easy. In fact, this is pretty, pretty easy because this right here, because of this zero, thank you, is equal to zero. Altogether, this right here, because of this zero, thank you, is equal to zero as well. All in all, we just have this is zero times that, which is one. So we have just this, right? So you can see it is going to be minus, and this is negative 2 over s to the third power, like that. Well, that's the second part, and now let's look at this, and let's see what do we want. Of course, we want these terms to be zero, and we have to take the limit as n goes to infinity, right? As the usual deal, you know, if you want, well, let me just do it like this, 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 and that. I want everybody right here to be zero. Well, for this term to be zero, as long as I restrict that, uh, I mean s right here, let me just set, as long as I make s to be greater than 0, when I have positive s right here, 
You see, negative times positive is negative, and then when n goes to infinity, right here we will have negative infinity. e to the negative infinity will kill this. Likewise, same business. I will just need to have s is greater than 0 right here as well. And lastly, same business. We need s to be greater than 0 so that we can kill all this right here, right? Right, so at the end of the day, we just have 0 minus minus 2 over s to the third power. So you know the final answer. It will be just positive 2 over s to the third power under the condition that s has to be greater than 0. And this right here is a Laplace transform of t to the second power. That's it.